All right, hi, this is James with the onehoursmarthome.com and today we're gonna to talk about neutral wires. Do you need a neutral wire for a smart switch and how to check for one? So uh, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you got the power off and then you're gonna just remove the cover plate to your light switch that you wanna install a smart uh, switch on. Typically, if you have a neutral wire in one of your light switches, you've got it in all of your light switches. That's just how wiring code is. Uh, typically, a house built after 1985 is going to have smart wiring and, or not smart wiring, sorry, a neutral wire in the switch box and houses before 1985 uh, might not. Now, there are exceptions to this, but in general, that's that's uh, what we typically find. So, all you got to do is make sure you get the power off. You're going to remove your light switch just like so. That screws way in there. And we're gonna check to see if we got a neutral wire. And then we've got three switches here. And we're gonna go through these three light switches so you can understand when you need a neutral wire and uh, what your options are for adding a neutral wire or using a neutral wire and smart lighting in your home. So these screws, they're, they're, <laughs> they're a lot longer than I thought they were in there. So, okay. Let's see, we got that bottom one off. Let's get this one over here off. Okay, so we've got the light switch. Uh, we got those screws off. Now we're just gonna pull this forward so we can see what's in the switch box for all of you. Okay, so we have a hot wire coming in. Over here, we've got our uh, load wire, which goes up into the light, the light fixture. We've got our ground wires here. That's this bare copper wire. Down here and we do have a neutral wire we've got a white wire here and this neutral wire that means that we can use any of these three light switches any of these three smart light switches so I'm just gonna show you the light switches and talk to you about what I mean here so on the back of this light switch we're gonna ignore this wire for right now we've got four wires okay we've got a ground wire this green wire so that would connect to these bare copper wires here we've got the red wire, which is the load wire. That load wire would connect to this wire right here, which goes to the light fixture. We've got our black wire, which is the hot wire, and that hot wire would connect to the incoming electricity, which is this wire right here. And we've got our neutral wire right here, okay? So the neutral wire would connect to these neutral wires right here in the switch box just like so, okay? So you would connect this neutral wire to this uh, neutral wire in the switch box. So we could use pretty much any smart light switch uh, for our home if we wanted to. This is a Leviton dimmer switch. Highly recommend these light switches. These are nice uh, light switches. I've got a couple of these in my house and uh, really like them. Now this last wire here, you most people don't need to know about this, but this is for three-way uh, dimming applications or three-way light switch applications. This is what's called a traveler wire. This is how you would wire up a three-way smart switch. So that's going to be another video, another topic, um, but that is what that extra wire is. Now here's another smart light switch. This is one of the one hour smart home smart light switches. These are really nice, really economical. And I just want to show you one difference here too, okay? Look at the depth on this one versus the depth on this one. Well, when you're trying to fit a smart light switch into a box, a lot of times having this thinner depth is really beneficial because there's so much wiring and everything already in there that this makes it just a little bit easier than trying to fit this honking thing in there. So um, that's just something to think about when you are considering uh, smart lighting control is the depth that these light switches will go into. So uh, right here we've got... Uh, you know, the same similar wiring configuration. We've got our red wire, which is our load wire. That would connect to this uh, wire right here. We've got our black wire, which is our incoming hot wire. So we'd connect it to this one right here. And we've got our neutral wire, which would connect to these two wires right here. And we've got our ground wire, which would connect to the unshielded copper wires right here underneath the red wire nut. So that light switch, this one's available from us, onehoursmarthome.com. Um, you can find this on Amazon as well. We'll include a link to that below. So that's just a typical on-off smart switch there. Now, I want to show you something a little bit different. 
This light switch here in the middle, I had it upside down there, this Lutron Cassetta light switch, this one does not require a neutral wire, okay? And I'm gonna show you what I mean. So on the back of this light switch, all we really got is one, two, and a ground wire. So we got uh, just two wires and a ground wire. This does not require a neutral wire, and these are smart switches too. So all three of these are smart light switches. You can control them all with Alexa, with Google Home, as well as from your phone. Um, the only difference is these two right here, the Leviton and the one hour smart home one, these two connect to your Wi-Fi network directly. These Lutron Cassetta ones, they do require a Lutron Cassetta lighting hub, which just gets plugged in next to your router. It's a small little thing, not a big deal really, but these don't require neutral wire. So if you've got an older home, this is a great option. Um, so how this would wire in is your green wire would go to the unshielded copper wires underneath the red wire nut. And then what's nice about these light switches is, uh, let's say you forget when you take these out, which wire was where. The orientation of the wires doesn't matter. You could wire this, uh, so this is to the hot, and this one is to the load wire, or this is to the load wire, and this one is to the hot wire. It, it doesn't matter the orientation, as long as you get one on hot, one on load, um, it's gonna work. So that is kind of a nice feature about these, um, and, and very easy to install. So you got, uh, with this one, the, uh, this is on, this is off, and then dimming adjustment, and it's got a little uh, indicator over here to the side. That is Moose, my dog, he's wondering what's going on. But uh, yeah, so this is a good option if you got older wiring or you don't have a neutral wire. Uh, the, the Lutron Cassetta is probably your best bet for a smart light switch if you don't have a neutral wire. So I'm gonna include links to all three of these uh, light switches below. And uh, highly recommend, we've got a smart lighting guide that you go check that out. That's going to answer a lot of your questions as well as a couple of other posts that we have on our website at onehoursmarthome.com. I'm going to include those so that you can uh, have the information you need to make a decision on smart lighting. But, you know, these are the three light switches I recommend. The Leviton uh, smart switch. Uh, this is a Lutron Cassetta light smart light switch. And this is a one hour smart home light, smart light switch. Wi-Fi requires a smart hub, but doesn't require a neutral wire. Wi-Fi, and these two do require a neutral wire, which we do have a neutral wire here, so that's fine there. So thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to this video. Uh, this channel, it always helps us out, and uh, we will see you next time. And click on any links below if you want to support us.